are watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God. Shalom, Shalom. in the name of Jesus Christ. So welcome to the broadcast again. It's Chimezie Ogongo and Let There Be Live. But it's the Holy Ghost, Chimezie, my wife, Margoshata, Kingdom, my son, Freedom, my son, and Wisdom, my daughter, the elders of the land in, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So it's our 162nd live parliamentary broadcast by the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And today is the 3rd of August, 2021, in the name of Jesus Christ. And also it is our 33rd uh, live broadcast by the grace of God since Christmas. May the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Together, together. May the Lord be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. So Holy Spirit, we welcome you in Jesus' name. We welcome you here. Hashem, let your wisdom instruct my words to speak your freedom for the glory of your kingdom in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the foolishness of my preaching, my Father, let the foolishness of my preaching wisen and edify in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, hear your own voice through this broadcast in Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Amen. I said through this message, Lord, hear your own voice in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, before we continue, we'll read a, a quick psalm. Uh, we all normally read Psalm 119, verse 97 to 100. It says, Oh, how love oh, I thy law. It is I my meditation day, all the day. day. Thou, through thy commandments, has made me wiser than my enemies. For they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers. For thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy presence. May the Lord be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're going to sing the songs for the Lord before we jump, jump in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He is exalted. The King is exalted on high. I will praise him. He is exalted. Forever exalted. And I will praise his name. He is the Lord. Forever. Truth shall reign, heaven and earth, rejoice in his holy name. He is exalted, the king is exalted on high. Adonai, Adonai, we worship you, worship you. Son of God, Son of God, you are so good. Almighty God, hallowed be your name, your name. Your dominion is forever, is forevermore. Adonai, Adonai, we worship you. Worship you, Lord, Son of God, Son of God, you are so good. Almighty Savior, hallowed be your name, your name. Your dominion is forevermore. The Lord be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to August 2021. And the Lord has spoken, it's our month of escape from death and dust. It's our month of escape from death mm -hmm. and dust. Amen. It's your month of escape from death and dust. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Before we jump in, I'll share a testimony quickly by the mercies of the living God in Jesus' name. My younger son again, um, he's on his two weeks transition program, two weeks transition campaign. Yeah, that's what they call it. Two weeks transition campaign. Secondary school, you know, from primary school to secondary school. And uh, this, this young man, I mean, first week in primary school, he got a certificate. Uh, it was called a special mention certificate. Now, this will basically be the first week of secondary school. And he's bagged another certificate. I mean, last week was the first week because he's, he started the tra transition camp uh, last week and continues this week. He was supposed to be there today, but because of the broadcast, he couldn't be there today. But he got a certificate. I was giving it to, to him yesterday, but it was issued on the 30th of July. It says, the TC Award of Achievement is presented to Freedom Okonkwo, who has mastered the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics of rocketry, and is now a, a rocket scientist. So we'll give God the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. They have so many certificates. May the Lord be glorified. More are coming in Jesus' name. Amen. We just th thank God for them in Jesus' name. May the Lord be glorified. The Lord has titled this message, Laboring in Gain. Laboring in Gain, not in vain. Laboring in gain. You know, very often I hear my wife praying for me. Several times she'll pray. And she'll say, Lord, bless my husband. He works very hard. 
for you. I know he works very hard for you. I know there's a knowledge. I said that prayer is most encouraging. I know means she's aware. I have seen that he works hard for you. You know, sometimes you will doubt whether you are doing enough. Whether you are doing enough. Whether you are doing enough, or maybe well, this result has not happened. Maybe you're not doing, you haven't done what you're supposed to do. You don't know. But when you hear it from someone who lives with you daily and knows you and telling God that he, you work hard for him, you feel good. I say it's a different thing. When you're working hard, and it's a different level when someone acknowledges that you're working hard, that, that someone that knows you truly. 1 Corinthians 15, 10. My second ancestor, Paul, David is the first. My second ancestor, Paul, the original. He says he became overbearingly relevant above the other apostles. Why? Because God's grace upon him was not in vain. He said God's grace was upon him was not in vain. God's grace upon him was not in vain. If it was not in vain, then it was in gain. 1 Corinthians 15, 10. Anybody that gets their first read, quick. May the Lord be glorified. In Jesus' name. By the, but by the grace of, of God, I am what I am. And, this, and his grace was which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. This grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. If it was not in vain, it was in gain. And Paul said he labored more abundantly that day. Oh, did you read that part? No. Okay, it's okay. Amplified Bible says God's grace on Paul was not without effect, which means it was with effect. Good news translation and uh, NIV says the same thing. The New Living Translation says, God's grace upon Paul was not without limits. Some other version says, was not wasted. And I pray, from today, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. you and I will begin to labor in, in gain, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We will labor in gain. Paul labored Amen. in gain because of the grace. Paul labored in gain. In Psalm 105, verse 44 to 43 to 44, can somebody read quickly, please? 43 to 44, Psalm 105, 43 to 44. Okay, wisdom read. Psalm 105, 43 to 44. Forty-three to forty-four. And he brought forth his people with joy. And he brought forth his people with joy. God brought forth his people with joy. Continue. And he's chosen with gladness. And he's chosen with gladness, yes. And gave them the lands of the heathen. And gave them the lands of the heathen. Now Israel inherited the lands and labor of strange nation. And gave them the lands of the heathen. And gave them the forty-four. Read forty-four again. And gave them the lands of the heathen. And gave them the lands of the heathen. Continue. And they inherited the labor of the people. And they inherited the labor of the people. They inherited the lands and labor of strange nations. You will not lose your reward in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your gain, your profit will not enter for mill. You will not lose your reward in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. If you are labored, you gain. You will gain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Proverbs 14, 23 says, In all labor, all labor, there is profit. In all labor. Your work is your pregnancy. Your work is your pregnancy. Your work is your pregnancy. Nobody knows what a pregnancy is creating. You just have pictures in your head. You don't know. Nobody knows what is being created within. Every man in labor knows that profit is coming. Every man in labor knows that profit is coming. I told you last week that our warfare is airborne. Warfare is airborne. I said it last week. Oh, no, on Saturday, yeah. We had a broadcast. Normally we have our broadcast on Saturday. Babies are either fortified or terminated in the air. Through pregnancy in the air. Safe, safe delivery means you are laboring in gain. Or you have labored in gain. Safe delivery. You have labored in gain. And miscarriage is mid-air interception. Miscarriage is mid-air interception. Abortion is mid-air interception. It's an interception. Baby is rising up and suddenly mama decides to kill him. Or her. Okay, yeah, abortion. After many rounds of adult movie, believing God that you know 
what could come out from it? And you still went ahead and did it. Baby begins to grow up and shoot out. And suddenly, you kill the innocent child. You only labored in vain. I am here because my parents labored in vain. May the Lord be glorified. May the mighty God be glorified in Jesus' name. After you've labored and fought in the air, your profit will be visible on ground. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That baby you thought you aborted is me. That baby you thought you aborted is me. I am the voice of many unborn babies. That is why what God has sent me here to do today. I am the voice of many unborn babies. The baby, many babies you killed through abortion, I am their voice. But you can't kill me, that's why I'm here, obviously. May the Lord be glorified. You can't kill me, that is why I am here. I say I am the voices of those babies you dread to hear, the cries of those babies you dread to hear. Those cries you didn't want to hear, I am their cry now. They never died. I am the voice. Of one crying out for the voiceless. The baby you want to abort or you are planning to abort is crying out for life in the name of Jesus Christ. You have scheduled an appointment for abortion. And your baby is asking, where is your compassion, mom? Your unborn baby. Acts 38. Let's move on. God anointed Jesus for good works. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. God anointed him for good works. Jesus labored in gain. His life was prematurely aborted for us to have life. Eternal life. It is true. Colossians 1.10, he says, Walk worthy of the Lord, being faithful. In every good work, says almost the same thing in 2 Corinthians 9, 8 to 9. Increasing in the knowledge of God. You cannot know God without study. You cannot know God without study. You cannot know God without study. Bible study is laboring in gain. You know, we completed the Psalms on the uh, Saturday, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, Saturday. And first off, and this, this, this is just a... Uh, uh, our family, everybody has their own personal studies as well and different other studies all through the day. We are constantly searching scriptures. We finished, completed the Psalms on Saturday and then I, I told my, my family we will prayerfully uh, study the Psalms again for the next three days. 1st of August, 2nd of August, 3rd of August. But we will do 50-50-50. This morning we've completed it again. To study is to conceive. I am nine months pregnant every day. I am always pregnant. It is true. This morning, I said we were in labor. If you, if you think it's easy. I mean, I've read Psalms or the, through Psalms in one day, several times. But if you think it's easy, go and try. You need the grace to do it. You need the dedication, the commitment, the hunger. If it is not there, if you, you, you have to ask God to give it to you. I said to study is to conceive. And now we are giving birth to children now. That's what we are doing now. May the Lord be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. And by the time we leave this studio again, we take it again. Constantly pregnant. May the Lord be glorified. Amen. Constantly pregnant. It is true. I am always pregnant because I am laboring in gain in the name of Jesus Christ. Second Timothy 3 16. It says, All scripture is profitable. All scripture is profitable. All scripture is profitable. To profit is to gain. First Timothy 5 17. It says, Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. Let the elders. And that's why I'm always here with the elders of the land. Of double honor. He said, especially those who labor in word, who labor in word, walk in word, walk, walk, not walk. Of course, you walk in the word, but you walk in word. And doctrine, the word is labor. Doctrine is even more labor. Because you need to, one thing is to study, one thing is to see what you are studying, to understand what you are studying. It's a profession. May the Lord be glorified. 
I say it is a profession. What we, we, we are doing is a work on its own, it's labor. Especially those, especially, especially those who labor, who work in what? We work in what? We work in what? That's why the Bible talks about the profession of faith. It's a profession. Yes. It's a profession. Faith is a profession. The word of faith is a profession. Somebody read Psalm 126, 5 to 6. May the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. They, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bury precious seed, shall, shall doubtless come back. Re re rejoice and bring it. Rejoice and bring his sheaves with him. May the Lord be glorified. Mm -hmm. We carry the word all the way to come and sow. We are sowing seed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the sower soweth the word. Mark 4.14. May the Lord be glorified. Mm -hmm. Our gains are growing. Our gains are growing. Amen. Our gains are growing. Amen. If you are laboring in a world, your gains are growing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our feedback is now in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Positive feedback is now in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. From now, we begin to labor in gain. You will labor in gain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said go and labor in gain in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. I said it before and I said it before and I said it again and again and again. There are people, churches, communities, nations waiting for this baby to grow and stand family this baby to grow and stand family I, I am the baby they are waiting for it is true our weight will be heavy on every single nation on earth physically and spiritually in any every way in jesus name not one nation will escape the very heavy weight of our influence and dominion it is true it will happen the lord will bring it to pass Amen. not one will escape the lord will bring it to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, before we proceed, by the grace of God, we're going to do a communion for all God's, by the grace of God. In the, these past months, by the grace of God, God has helped us. And every month, we've tried to do a communion. At least once on a broadcast. May the Lord, every month, may the Lord be glorified. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray, trusting God for his help. For his divine protection. I will break this in the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's going to be our communion of for strength, for strength. Amen. Holy Ghost strength for escape. Holy Ghost strength for escape. Amen. Escape from death and from dust. Amen. You can join us. Amen. Escape from death and from dust. Amen. Escape from calamities and reproach. Amen. Escape from shame and embarrassment. Amen. Escape from lack and want. Amen. Escape from death and destruction in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Escape from the will and control of men, Amen. of evil men in Jesus' name. Amen. Communion of unpredictability, according to the word of the Lord in John 3 8. That's my lovely scripture. Communion of unpredictability, unpredictable directions and dimensions in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Communion for laboring in gain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to return bringing our sheaves, carrying our sheaves of profit with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I say we are going to return, carrying our sheaves, sheaves of, of profit in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to return, carrying our sheaves of profit with us in Jesus' name. Amen. God has told me, he said, you've been a blessing to people in Nigeria. I want to bless you in Nigeria. Okay. I believe that word. Amen. I believe that word. Our labor is in gain. Our labor will never be in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 86, verse 16, he said, Lord, give thy strength to thy servant. Thy strength to thy st servant. Ephesians 3 16, Holy Spirit, strengthen my inner man with might. Strengthen my inner man with might. Amen. Psalm 71, verse 16, I will go in the strength of the Lord God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Forever, oh Lord Almighty God, your word is settled in heaven it is set. tell him forever forever oh lord almighty god your word is settled in heaven it is set. tell him forever 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 oh lord almighty god your word is settled in heaven it is settled tell him forever 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 oh lord almighty god your word is settled in heaven it is the word of jeshua set us 
free from sin and sorrow. The word of Yeshua set us free. He said the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The word of Yeshua set us free and the blood of Yeshua set us free in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank, you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He said, if, if, I, if, if you lift me up, I'll bring men, I'll draw men to myself. Amen. Lord, we lift you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be glorified. May the Lord be glorified. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And the blood. Thank you, Lord. We are preserved. Amen. Finish. Please hand over. Forever. Oh, Lord. Almighty God, your word is settled. In heaven it is settled. Tell him forever, forever. Oh Lord, Almighty God, your word is settled. In heaven it is settled. Forever. Oh Lord, Almighty God, your word is settled. In heaven it is settled. Tell him forever, forever. Oh Lord, Almighty God, your word is settled in heaven. It is settled. Colossians 1 26 to 29, precisely in verse 27, it says, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Christ in me, the hope of glory. When you are in labor, profit is coming. Christ in me, the hope of glory. When you are in labor, the profit is coming. Watch as we grow. I said it, and I said it again, and again, and again. Watch what as we grow you know? in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Acts 20, 35. He says, so laboring, you ought to support the weak. So laboring, you ought to support the weak. What does that mean? Go and labor in gain. Amen. Supporting the weak is laboring in gain. It doesn't have to be on your side. You bless someone and God will bless you. It is true. Supporting someone, he says, so laboring, you ought to support the weak. Ephesians 4, 28 to 29. He says, still no more, letting us still, still no more. Labor, working, what is good to give to those in need. Psalm 37, 23. He says, the steps of a good man are ordered by God. When you're laboring in gain, your steps will be ordered by God. But he says, and he delighted in his way. So the steps of a good man are both ordered and the lies unto the Lord. Galatians 1.14 Paul said, My exceeding zeal help me profit above many, many my equals. May the Lord be glorified. Mm -hmm. Colossians 4.12 He says, Saints in light partake of the Father's inheritance. Saints in light. You must be in light. <laughs> you must be in light. 2 Corinthians 8.9 He says, Christ became poor. That us through his poverty might become rich. Christ became poor, ensuring that we labor in gain. John 15, 2 and 4 to 5. He says, Abide in Christ, and you will bring forth much fruit. You cannot bear fruit outside him, without him. Without me, you can do nothing, he says again. Colossians 2, 3. In Christ, I hid all the treasures, treasures of wisdom and knowledge. To gain the edge, you have to know. You have to know him. To gain the edge, you have to know him. That's knowledge, knowledge. Know an edge. To gain that edge, you have to know him. And like Jesus, he always says, before a destruction, there is a salvation. The king of peace is coming for a people of peace and not for a religion of pieces. And if you are water, on, and what on, I'll explain. Maybe you are suicidal, feeling murderous, maybe you're about to commit abortion like we spoke about. Maybe you're going through a divorce. Maybe you're battling different things, sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, court cases. Maybe you're going through, uh, what do you call it, prison, prison time or whatever. Or whatever you're going through now. Or maybe you're receiving letters of threats that you know by the grace of God. Whether you are guilty or you are innocent, the Lord Jesus wants to set you free in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maybe you're involved in criminal acts. Maybe you're involved in criminal acts. The Lord wants to set you free in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maybe you're, you're battling, uh, what do you call it, gambling or prostitution. He wants to set you free in Jesus' name. Amen. He wants to set you free. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. I receive you, I receive afresh. you afresh. 
Lord, from now, from this moment, be my Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to see your glory in this land of the living. Lord, I will see your glory in this land of the living. I receive your Holy Spirit to guide me in the name of Jesus Christ on this journey. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, write my name in the book of life and keep my name in the book of life for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. The way is coming your way, like we always say. The way, which is Jesus Christ. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. The way is coming your way. And as the Lord Jesus is going about doing wonders, he will not pass you by. I say, as the Lord Jesus is going about doing wonders, he will not pass you by. In the name of Jesus Christ. And instead of death, go, increase, multiply, and expand in numbers in the name of Jesus Christ. And check us on YouTube. Uh, all our broadcasts are there. Check us on Facebook. Check us on Amazon. Our books are there by the grace of God. And our, our devotional by the grace of God is there on Amazon. And call us and pray for us. Always pray for us. Pray for us. Very important. May the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. I'm led. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. Shalom, 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 Jerusalem. Shalom. May the Lord be glorified.